I'm Katrina Cotton for Invest in Pitch Media. Thanks for joining us today. Nevada Sunrise Gold has received preliminary results of a ground geophysical survey at its 100% owned Gemini Lithium project located in the Lita Valley Basin in Esmeralda County, Nevada. Nevada Sunrise also owns a 100% interest in the nearby Jackson Wash Lithium Project, along with a water right permit 86863, located in the Lita Valley Basin near Lita, Nevada. The Lita Valley is a flat arid basin with a similar geological setting to the better known Clayton Valley Basin, where Albemarle Corporation operates the Silver Peak Lithium Brine Mine, which has operated continuously since 1966. The 2022 Time Domain Electromagnetic Survey, carried out in May, successfully expanded the scope of geophysical surveys carried out by the company in 2016 and demonstrates the continuity of conductive zones where lithium-bearing clays and water were encountered during the company's 2022 drilling program. The 2022 Time Domain Electromagnetic Survey was designed to outline the possible lateral extent of the conductive lithium-bearing clay layers that were recently intersected in drill holes 2201 and 2202. A total of 13 line kilometers were carried out on three new survey lines, as shown here. In its maiden drilling program, Nevada Sunrise drilled two reverse circulation boreholes for a total of 2,020 feet at Gemini in March and April of 2022. Borehole 2201 reported a weighted average of 1,203.41 parts per million lithium over 580 feet, starting at 320 feet, including 1,578.19 parts per million lithium over 300 feet. Borehole 2202 reported a weighted average of 1,102 parts per million lithium over 730 feet from 390 feet including 2,218 parts per million lithium over 130 feet and 3,304 parts per million lithium over 50 feet. Water samples from borehole 2201 averaged 327.7 milligrams per liter lithium over 220 feet from 600, with a peak value of 519 milligrams per liter lithium. Water samples from borehole 2202 returned an average of 116 milligrams per liter lithium over 460 feet from 660 feet, with a peak value of 286 milligrams per liter lithium. These initial results represent a new discovery of lithium-bearing sediments and lithium in water in the western Lita Valley, which has not been historically drill tested for lithium mineralization. With the two holes located 0.69 miles apart, management believes the extent of lithium-bearing clay layers and waters at Gemini may be widespread. An amendment to the existing drill permit for new drill hole locations is anticipated to be filled this month, and drill tenders are being prepared to select a contractor for a Phase two exploration program in the summer-fall of 2022. The company's key gold asset is a 20.01% interest at the Kingsley Mountain Gold Project near Wendover, Nevada. Kingsley Mountain, a joint venture with Copar Minerals, Inc., is a Carlin-style gold project hosting a NI43101 compliant gold resource consisting of 418,000 indicated ounces of gold grading 2.63 grams per tonne gold and 117,000 inferred ounces of gold averaging 1.51 grams per tonne gold at cutoff grades ranging from 0.2 to 2.0 grams per tonne gold. Nevada Sunrise has a right to earn a 100% interest in the Coronado VMS project located approximately 30 miles southeast of Winnemucca, Nevada. The company also owns a 15% interest in the historic Lovelock Cobalt Mine and the Treasure Box Copper Properties, each located approximately 100 miles east of Reno, with Global Energy Metals holding an 85% participating interest. The company recently closed a fully subscribed, non-brokered private placement, raising gross proceeds of $1.5 million from the placement of 7.5 million units priced at 20 cents per unit. The shares are trading at 18 cents. 
For more information, please visit the company's website, nevadasunrise.ca, call 604-428-8028, or by email at info at nevadasunrise.ca. I'm Katrina Cotton for Investment Pitch Media.